trading is one of the simplest we actually one can actually get involved with in the crypto space and actually make money and there are two major types of trade two major types of trade when it comes to the cryptocurrency space the first one which is like the default of it is spot trading and then the second one or the second um, category is derivatives when we talk about derivative in derivative is where we have features we have uh, perpetuals, we have options, and other types of trade that comes with it. Now, the difference between these two categories of trade are in spot trading. You buy a particular asset, that is, you are using your money or using one crypto asset to buy another asset at a lower price with the hope that it will go up, and then you sell it for profit, and you make profit. Spot trading is just like any business man or woman out there that goes out for a business. For every uh, business or every trader out there that goes out, you know, to buy a particular product in order to sell, the person is buying it with the intention that okay, I'm buying this thing at ten dollars. I want to sell it at twenty dollars and make additional ten dollars as profit. That is simply what spot trading is all about. You are using your dollar or you are using your crypto asset to buy another crypto asset at a lower price with the hope of selling that particular asset when the price increases and you make profit. That is just what spot trading is all about. You buy a particular asset at a lower price and wait for it to increase and then you sell it and make profit. Why features or derivative or perpetual swap as in, in, on the other hand is all about betting you know it's all about you you come into the market and say okay right now we are looking at um, um bitcoin usdt and that is btc usdt perpetual we are looking at perpetual what i'm simply saying here when you come in here what you see here if you can see my screen what you see here is sorry about that is we have long or otherwise known as open and then we have short, otherwise known as close. So whether open or long or buy in the uh, features, when it comes to trading uh, features, what you are simply doing is you are going to predict the market. You are going to predict the market. Let's say after doing your technical analysis, after using several indicator, indicators in the market, you have decided or all of your indicators are pointing that in the next one hour or two hours or in the next day or few days to come, this particular crypto coin is going to go up. So all you just need to do is either you open it, you long it, or you buy. Now, when you buy, when you open, when you long the market, what you are simply saying is that in a few days to come, Bitcoin will go from 65 USDT to 66 or to $70,000. And if that prediction is right, you are staking your money to make more money. Let's say I can bet $100 by saying, okay, when this price goes up from $60 um, or $66,000 to $70, whatsoever the difference is, depending on the amount of leverage I'm using, whatsoever the difference is, I want to make more money with it. In other words, you can go ahead and shut the market close the market or sell the market. That is, if your indicators or whatever analysis you've done is telling you that the crypto market or Bitcoin market would drop in a um, in few days, you go ahead and shut the market. And if those predictions are right and the market goes in your favor, you make money. The worst aspect of it is if these predictions are not right, if the price predictions are not right, if the market does not go in your favor, you are going to lose your capital. It is not as spot trading where you actually use your asset to buy another asset. Now, when you are using your asset to buy another asset, even if the market is going down, the advantage there is that you still have that particular asset you bought. Let's say you bought one Bitcoin at $66,000, and then all of a sudden Bitcoin dropped from sixty-six to $60,000. It is the price. You know, what you are, that is devalued is the price of that particular asset, which is, in this case is Bitcoin. But the fact that you bought one Bitcoin still means that you still have one Bitcoin. 
So trading crypto itself is a faster means of getting your own asset or your own profit out of the market. Because when you want to hold, when you want to hold crypto, you are holding, buying and holding crypto is looked as a long-term investment. Long-term in the sense that you are looking at anything from five years and above, from five years and above. So it requires patience for you to be able to make a reasonable amount of money out of buying and holding. And today I introduced to you already, I've been talking of OKS for a while now. If you follow my channel, you know that I do make videos a lot about the OKS platform. And I use OKS for a few reasons. When you want to trade crypto, if not, I've given instances of exchanges that have been existed in the past, people get involved and before you know it, it closes. So when you want to trade crypto, you want to look for a very known exchange. Um, and then you, you want to look at the fee that they charge, their trading fee. You want to look at some other features that is implemented on that particular exchange to be able to get started. So I'll be leaving link in the video description for those of you who will be following up on YouTube or in the chat so that if you want to sign up for OKS account, you can sign up, you know, get your account verified and start trading crypto with OKS. So, but today I'm going to show you a different style of trading with the OKS platform, which is very simple. You don't need to go to any technical school. You don't need to study technical um, um, tools like, you know, some indicators to be able to carry out this trade. And it is very simple and it is a type of spot trading. Now, one thing I want to do is if I come here to my homepage on the OKS platform, as you can see here, let me go up and load up. As you can see here, we have um, favorite, we have tops, we have new crypto, and then we have, they are, if you want to look at it as they are by their 24 hours ranking, you go ahead and look at it by the 24 hours ranking. Right now, the one that is selected is the new crypto. And this is a very simple way of making money. I did post it when this particular token was going to be listed, this Poly Dodge, and it was actually listed from the time it was listed, it actually rose close to 400% and now has started dropping. So one thing I like about the OKS platform um, is that when you wake up and you check, you log into your account, you always see um, this notification. Aside the fact that I posted to you, those of you who are following me on Telegram and on WhatsApp, you will equally see the notification here. Okay, as the saying that they are pleased to announce that they are listing such a token. So this was posted, you can see the date it was posted. And all you just need to do is to click on this, you go and read more about when it will be listed. So if I go ahead and click on that coin, and click on this notification or the announcement, when you open up this announcement, you will see details here as at the time it will be listed um, and then the time it will be ready for trading and withdrawals and stuff like that. You'll see details here. All you just need to do to be a part of this is whenever this token is listed, let's say I want to trade this token, I'll go ahead and click on it. And as at the time it was listed, if I look at it from the time it was listed, this is what I want you to take note of. This token was listed somewhere around here. Look at it somewhere around there. If I zoom out there, you see that it is about seven zeros in front of the two zero that we have here. So it actually grew up from what we have from here, from this price you are looking at right now, to about seven zeros, seven five. And then it went further to go to a higher level somewhere around here. Okay, this is the highest it all went to. Somewhere around here. So we have about uh, plus one point for it to cancel another zero. So we have about nine, nine, uh, nine, nine after the, how many zeros do we have here? Seven zeros or thereabout. This is the highest it went to. And cheaper coin like this, can make you a lot of money when you trade them, even with a little amount of money. Now, let me go to the trading aspect of it and show you how simple you would have made profit if you actually took advantage of this. So if I go ahead and click on the buy button here, it brings us to this interface. Now, when it brings us to this interface, what we have here is that 
um, let that coin load up. All right, so this particular token is load up and this token is being traded against USDT. The Polydor is being traded against USDT, meaning that you need to have USDT in your exchange, in your OKS account to be able to buy this. I made a video um, about how to buy crypto. If you don't know about it, you can buy USDT because it is from USDT, you can buy any other crypto coin or token that you see in the market. So it means that you need to have USDT in your exchange to be able to buy this. And on the OKS platform, you only have two wallets. We have the funding wallet and then we have the trading wallet. So if somebody sends you a token, if somebody sends you a coin, by default, those coins are sent to your funding wallet. So if you want to start trading with it, I can just come in here and click on this arrow here. When I, I click on that arrow, if it is USDT, I want to trade against this poly dust. If it is Bitcoin, I want to trade against this poly dust. All I just need to do to make sure that I have my funds here, I'll go ahead and click on this arrow here. So if I go ahead and click on that, you'll see a dialog box will pop up. So a dialog box will pop up. Now, when this pops up, you are asked to select the token. So in this case, if it is USDT, you want to trade, if it is Bitcoin, you just go ahead and click on the token. So if I go ahead and do that, it gives you, you see the options I'm going to get. So I can select all of these coins. But in this case, we are going to stick with the USDT. So I'll go ahead and click on USDT. And then you want to transfer from your funding account to your trading account. So you are transferring your funds from your funding account to your trading account. I'll go ahead and transfer. And whatever I do, I go ahead and click on confirm. And once I confirm, the funds will be um, automatically transferred from my funding account or from my funding wallet to my trading wallet. And if that happens, I'm going to see the funds that I have somewhere here. So I'll be seeing the funds here. Now, remember that I told you that this token started with how many? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it actually canceled one zero. But when the price started, it was seven zero, then two zero zero at the back. So if I was to buy, let's say I was to buy this token worth, I have three hundred and thirty-five um, dollars here. Yeah? So, and I was to buy this thing at the current the, the opening price. Sometimes, let's say I did not even notice when it was immediately published, and I entered, and it was instead of zero two seven zero two, I now have. 703 or let me be moderate here and i have 705 in front let's say we want to buy 600 million so i'll go ahead and put 600 million here 600 million to million. 600 would have cost us three dollars <laughs> um we want to buy for 300 so we're having 300 will give us about uh, Okay, let me get this right. If I go ahead and buy 60, somebody should calculate this for me. 60, um, 600, let's say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight zeros in front of it would have been how much? That is 60, is it 60 billion or thereabouts. So this is what would have made gotten for just 300. It's because the zeros are endless. That's why I cannot see in front of it. So we have gotten this for just $300. Now we are getting, please take note of this. This is the price I wish we are getting this at. It is seven zeros um, in front of the five. That is 0 0.7 zeros in front of the five. And right now the current price here, it is six zero in front of the six four that you are seeing here. So, and I just showed us here that the price actually went up to six zero in front of nine nine or thereabout. So if we have entered this market and bought about 600 billions of this token at $300. Now, what I would have done is, let's say this was the current market or the price market, the market price we entered it, which is, if I click on the limit order here, if I go ahead and click on limit, the limit order here, I would have changed it to market order. So when I change it to market order here, I would have gotten that at that price that I'm showing you right now. So if I've gotten it at C70 in front of the five, I'll come here to the cell tab. When I come in here to the cell tab, I will now use the limit order. 
On the cell tab, I'm going to use a limit order here. Using limit order on the cell tab, limit order here, and then I'll go ahead and put in my price as what I want to sell that. Let's say we bought a seven zero in front of the five. They want to sell right now at. We'll go ahead because we are using limit order. We are going to put zero point six zero one three four. What's that happening? Okay, I changed the coin. Sorry, I changed the token. I mistakenly changed the token. So poly USDT. You have to bear with me. I'm using my phone. That is why I'm, I'm having some of this uh, stuff. So using limit order, I'll go ahead and put in the price that we want to sell, which is six zero. Okay, let's sell at the current price now, which is six zero six four. 6064 would have sold about um, 600 of these that we bought. Is it 600 or 6 billion? And then about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So um, if we have sold this at this coin right now, so if we have sold this particular token we bought at this current price now, we would have been making 300 and that is $3,840. $3,840. And remember that we bought this particular token at $300. Now, the highest of it all, it actually went up to six zeros in front of nine. So if I go ahead and put in nine here in front of it, you would have made $5,400 with a token you bought with just $300. With a token you bought $300, there are no technical analysis attached to this. All you just did was, you know, jumping into the trend of the new coin listing. Now, the thing, the secret behind this is this. When a coin is newly listed in an exchange, definitely that day, that particular time, that particular period that that coin is listed, the price will definitely shoot up. The price will definitely shoot up. Now, if this OKS announcement has come, let's say a week or two days before, people would have looked for where to buy this poly um, Dogecoin or they would have looked for where to buy this poly Dodge token already and deposit it into the OKS platform. And in that case, people will be selling immediately the coin is listed. But because the notice came in a very short period of time, people don't have that time to go and okay, see, we are going to swap this coin in this platform and then transfer it to OKS. They just have to keep buying from the OKS platform. And that is why you saw that from when it was listed somewhere around here, the price continued to shoot up. From here, it continued to shoot up until it gets up to this. And then it continued that way until it gets to the all time, which is about up close to 400%. And then right now, a lot of persons who actually bought these tokens are actually selling. And that is why you are seeing that from um, when the price dropped from the high of it all here, the price has now started dropping toward it is currently now, and as you can see, a lot of persons are selling this coin now. That is why the price is dropping. So you take advantage of this by buying early and then wait for it. The more people keep buying, the more you keep pushing the price upward. And then when it gets to a certain level, you just sell. So with just $300, you would have made additional $2,000, $3,000, $4,000, uh, or $5,000 in just one trade. In just one trade. You can imagine if you have put in a thousand dollars, let's say a thousand dollars would have bought you billions of this token, and then you would have sold it and made additional, you know, money in just a short period of time, taking advantage of the trend of a new coin listing. And that is why I say if you don't have an OKS account, you go ahead and sign up for one because um, it is very simple. When you come in here to the homepage, you see the announcement just beneath your, your screen. And you can go ahead and pick up this trade. But um, one thing I want to emphasize that it is not a new token that is listed that you go ahead and trade immediately. Leach token was listed, I think, a day before this poly was listed. And as at the time it was listed, it actually got close to $4,000. Leach is equally a project owned by Shibainu. For those of you who don't know, Leach is equally, Shibainu has about three different tokens. They have Shibainu itself, they have Leach, and then they have. Um, um, the other one, I can't remember the name of it about. So these are the three different, and in all of these, Shibainu is the, is the lowest right now. 
So what they, uh, they, they are trying to do now is to burn as many Shibainu as they can because the supply of Shibainu is too, too, too plenty. And that is why the price is just there. So those of you who are still holding up, if Shibainu manage and get up to one cent, 10 cent, two cent, somewhere in the future, a lot of persons who are holding or who are buying now, we probably stand a chance of making plenty of money from the, the shit coin called Shibainu. So this is equally one of their projects, and this has limited supply. And as at the time it was listed, if I go down here to when it was listed a few days ago, you see that it actually got up to um, 3,000. So let me go to the daily time frame. All right, so like, look, it was listed like four days ago. So it got up to 3,000, the highest of people as you can see here, it got this particular token got up to three thousand nine hundred dollars before it started dropping towards it is. And as at the time it was listed, it was just two thousand five hundred dollars. So if you have bought it, you would have sold at three thousand nine hundred. And then when every other person starts selling, you see the price started dropping. You would have sold and exit the market. Um, there are tricks attached to this. You don't need to be too greedy with it because if you say you want to hold on to it to increase to keep increasing, before you know it. Um, other traders are selling and it will even become lower than what you actually bought it at. And if that happens, you'll be on the losing side. So it means that you have to hold on until when the price goes up and you just sell and so on. So this is just um, one of the ways you can actually trade crypto. By just leveraging on you know, new coin listing, you leverage on that, buy, and you, know, you go ahead and sell it when the price goes up and so on. And right now, the native token of OKS is actually um, this one called, if I go to top, called the OKB. And right now there is a, a staking program that is actually going on. You will stake, it means that that staking program simply means that you are going to stake OKB, which is this token. I equally posted that on the Telegram. Um, right now, as I the first staking with did that I said stake OKB and earn free ghost coin. Um, Ghost token. Those of you who actually did that, you remember that as of the day I did that video, OKB was less than $20. And then the next day it showed up to $22. The next day it was $23. The next day it was $28. And right now, because of the staking program again that is forthcoming, this token has raised up to 30 USDT. So if you have bought this token, I made a video even before the staking stuff of the thing and saying buy OKB, buy OKT and so on. If you have bought this token at $18, at $18, $20 or thereabout, you would have been in profit depending on the number of tokens that you actually bought. So there's another um, staking program or mining program that OKS is starting um, now, which you can get involved in. And I'm using my mobile phone, so no, nobody will complain that you didn't understand this. So to get involved in that, if I go ahead and click on the more option here, um, let me go back, click on my marker. This is more. If I go ahead and click on the more option here, I'll go ahead and click on that. And uh, what you want to do is to come in here to where you say jump start. You see jump starts here. Don't so always say jump start. This is where OKS do their mining program, their staking program. What it simply means is that you need to buy OKB token, which is their native token. Now, for the period of the staking or the mining program, you are going to stake your coin. And in staking that coin, all of the coin you are going to stake at the period, at the end of this program, this was the first one they finished. This one has already finished. And the other one that is forthcoming, let me show you that information on my Telegram. Um, I think I have it on the WhatsApp group also. Yeah. So let me go ahead and open up my WhatsApp and show you that. WhatsApp, open this. So this is a staking program um, here that OKS Jumpstart Mining will commence at 9 a.m. UTC on November 10. That is why you're not seeing that. It will start on November 10. And then OKB holders can stake OKB to mine the tone coin. So this time around, the first one was Ghost Coin, which you saw there. This time around, you are going to stake this particular OKB to earn the tone coin, um, the tone uh, tokens or so in return. So total stake um, OKB, if I open up this, you will see all of the details here. Let me flip my screen. 
Um, so you are going to stake OKB, and then the token you earn is called the tone point. So you are going to stake OKB here. This is the token you are going to stake. OKB, if you can see that, and you are going to earn um, tone point. And then the total amount of my neighbor token is about this. This is about 1 million. And this is going to start from the ninth, from 10th of November and it will end on the 12th of November. Then minimum staking per person is none. It means even if you have one OKB, you can participate in this. The maximum a person can stake is 1,000 OKB. So if you have up to 1,000 OKB, you can stake that. And then the upper limit staking, all of this, uh, that, that one is none. Let me remove my marker and show you the rest. Then the staking period will be this. And to be able to stake this, you need to be identi uh, your identified institution. You need to do uh, level two, which is submitting your photo ID. So if you have a verified account with the OKS platform, you can actually stake this coin and make profit. Take note of this. This is going to start on the 10th of, no of November and it will end on the 12th. So you can stake up to one one uh, one thousand OKB. So if you don't have OKB already, you want to buy OKB. Definitely, you are going to buy it at the current price. Um, sorry, uh, actually close that. So you will be buying the OKB at the current price of um, thirty USDT. I think that is what we saw there. Yeah, you will be buying it at the current price of thirty USDT. There is every tendency because this is the native token of uh, the OKS platform. It will continue to rise, just like we are seeing on Binance. Now, Binance is going to hit 700 all time high, um, $700 or thereabout. If you even hit $1,000, nobody knows it. You know, it's for the end of the year. So, some of these platforms are just like that. They are doing everything to make sure that they promote their own native token. So, the more people kept to hold it, the more the price will increase. So buying at thirty dollars is not later because um, in the nearest future this token could be a hundred dollar, it could be two hundred, it could be three hundred, it could even be a thousand dollars, and you'll be on the gaining side. So that is all I have to share with you this evening, dear friends. If you don't have um, an account with OKS already, I'll leave the link to sign up for an account in the video description. I'll now you know leave the floor for questions. Okay. So what's your question about Prime Bob, Mr. Jeff? Well, I, I just heard about it today, so I was uh, invited here to attend the meeting uh, to get to know more about it. So I was expecting oh, it's to all right. get the oh, details. All right. So let me just um, go ahead and uh, move into the prime board and explain how that works and what. Okay. Now, I just I just made um, a walkthrough on how um, trading crypto yourself for, can be summarized to some persons, but if you really want to um, trade crypto now, the coin listing that I just did on OKS now don't come every day. That doesn't happen every day. New coin listing doesn't happen every day. So you cannot, because you want to make profit on a new coin listing, you just keep waiting for new coin listing. Trading crypto is a, whether it is spot trading, whether it is facial, you need a whole lot of skills. You need to know some technical analysis to do that. Now, because a lot of us don't have time and we are slow to learning. You know, you learn one thing this uh, time, the other time you forget it because um, we have people, elderly persons who are in their offices, in their businesses, who don't want to put in the time to study these technical tools and the rest to be able to trade. That is when platform like Prime Board, which is the AI trading board, comes in play. Because with the artificial intelligence that is embedded into this board, or this app, you can actually link up this app. Remember I made mention of using trusted exchanges to trade when it comes to um, trading crypto. This uh, board actually works with two of the most famous exchange that we have around the globe, which is Binance. Binance is the number one anywhere you go to around the world. And then the second one is Wobi Exchange. So if I go to API binding here, you'll see that these are the two exchanges you can work with. You can bind your Wobi to it or bind your Binance to the exchange. So it costs $150 to actually activate this board for a whole year. This is like, um, if you're a business person, you are going to do business, you need a shop to di uh, display your goods or your services to for other persons to patronize you. 
you are going to pay for that shop, you are going to pay you know, other bills and the rent. So the renting for this board cost 150 years due to activity. And that you will see if I go to robots here, um, you'll see that here that it will cost you 150 USDT somewhere here. And that 150 USDT will last for 365 days. So when you go ahead and activate this board, that is what it will cost you to activate it for one year. But because the board is just penetrating the market right now, the uh, company is actually giving us this board, when I say for completely free, because you're going, going to activate this board from whoever referred you here for just 50 years this year. One thing people are concerned about is false security. Now, because in the past, a lot of persons have gotten involved with online businesses that you know people have run away with their money and stuff like that. This board is totally free because the board has no access to your funds. Your funds are 100% safe with your exchange. After funding your account, you bind it up here with API. And after that, your account will be displaying here. And if I come in here to order, your balance, because you have given permission to the board to trade from your account, you can see from the exchange, from your board here, you can see your balance from your exchange. Seeing your balance, it doesn't mean that the board has automatically transferred the money. You are only seeing this because you give the board during the period of creating API, you say, give permission to read. Reading means that the board can actually read the balance you have on your account, and then the board cannot trade on your behalf. Instead of being there to monitor chat and do the trading, the board does all of these things automatically for you. And at the end of the day, it takes profit. Taking profit will mean the board gives you an accurate, um, detailed explanation of what you have made in a day. Now, the on why this uh, file is opening up, the ongoing promo is for those who um, actually have a network of persons they want to bring in. Right now, the activation fees are going for free to you. If you have, um, you can prove that you can sign up people, you can get up to 5,000 activation points. And getting that 5,000 activation points, the conditions that come with it is that first, you only sell that point at 50 years. You only sell that point to your downline at 50 years, meaning that instead of activating this point at 150, everyone who is signing up now until the next upgrade that the system is doing goes um, is completed. Everybody that is signing up now can sign up for just 50 years to, to get run this board for themselves. So instead of paying the normal um, 50, 150, you are going to get that for just 50 years if you can get this activated. So if you are going to be a, um, a, um, a promoter of the Prime Border platform, you are going to get 5,000 points for free to get started with. And you can you know, share, if you are selling at $50, that fifty dollars is coming directly to you, not to the company. I'm not sharing it with anybody. That is one of the um, conditions. And then, if you can get up to five okay. active accounts that are trading, um, you can, can get I can one five... get this uh, your slides as soon as possible? Yes, you can get. It. I'll send it to the group. So this is the ranking on uh, on the platform. Now, what it entails to actually get this ranking, it means on the bronze. This is the ratio of what you get from all of the trading that goes on your platform. So if you have people, the first referral, second referral, uh, this is, you get 20%. So if you attain the silver level, you get 30% from all. If you attain the gold level, you get 40%. So what I was actually going to explain is that when you have five active accounts that are trading on your account, I have the privilege to elevate you from just bros, leaving all of this requirement. Now, to get to a gold level, it means that you would have referred five persons, not just referring five persons. When you refer five persons, you need to have three of them on the silver level. So three of them have to be on the silver level. And the total team members you need to have is 150. So you must not meet up this, you must not meet up this. Once you have five active people who are trading on your platform or under you, I can actually get your username and upgrade your account from bronze to the gold level. That is the highest I can go from. I can just elevate you from bronze to gold level, leaving all of this requirement, even whether you have up to 150 or not. So um, I, I have that privilege to actually give you that ranking. And this was the referral I was actually referring to. To say I refer, subsequently, hopefully, after the new um, phase, which the team is working on, after the upgrade, this board will be going for 150 years DT. 
by then we would have gotten more features implemented and added. So then you will not get it at 150. Even if you still have to support your points, you can be selling those points when that time comes at 150 years DT. So the most important thing is get take advantage of the ongoing promo, get some of these points, start activating people for 50 years DT. And as time goes on, they'll be activating it for 150. And when they activate it for 150, you get um, 75 and so on. And these are all of the plans that you have here. I will equally forward this to the group so that you go ahead and look at it. And you, when you get up to this level, this is the final level, you get 5% global dividends for life. So when you get up to this infinity level, this is what the infinity level entails. Infinity level entails that you need to have, you'll be getting 65% from all of the trading that goes on on your account. And then you need to have referred up to 30 persons to be able to get to this level. And out of those 30 persons, you have three of them must join the previous level, which is the diamond level. They must be in this rank. And then the total number of persons you have will be the, uh, about 1,500. When you get up to this, the company pays you a global dividend for life of 5% of all of the trading. This is aside the 65 that you earn and every other thing. The company, for all of their profit that they make, you get 5% global dividend for life. And one good thing, the selling point here is that uh, this with this board, this board doesn't have access to your phones and stuff like that. So it is a starting point for everybody who wants to get into the crypto space. And those who are already involved holding crypto, you can actually leverage on this platform and be automating your trade. Yes, go ahead, can, sir. Can, can you hear me? Please, uh, yes, I, my, my, my own, I have just two questions. The first one is this, like uh, now I've activated my boards, you understand? And uh, my, I can see my balance on from the Binance. Well, I'm trying to move fund from my Binance now to my fuel. Uh, that's, to my, that's where I'm going to be paying the fuel fee. But I've not been able to do that. I don't know if you can go through that process again and let me understand. That is one. Then two, uh, does it mean uh, by any time that uh, OKX try to launch it, uh, as, as in stake on uh, their coin for another coin, does it mean that there's always a price increase on their own coin based on what you just said, that it was $18 before and it's now like $30? Does it mean that anytime they do such a, a staking program, there's an always, there's always an increase in that, that um, you call it, what, what was the name? That's their own main coin. Does it mean that anytime they do that program, there's always an increase on that coin? Yes, there is. There is always. Anytime they do that program, there's always an increase. And the reason for that increase is because um, a lot of persons are actually buying that coin because that is like the main coin you need to earn other tokens. And the last one they did, after some people earned that free token, the token actually got up to, immediately they launched the token for trading. It got up to $6, $7, and $8 or thereabouts. You can imagine taking this coin and earning free tokens. Let's say you earn a yeah, hundred of those tokens, you earn 200 of those tokens, and all of a sudden they lose that token. The token is not just a dollar, it's not just 50 cents, it is about seven, five dollars or thereabout. You can imagine wow. how much you would have made, and you still have back all of your OKB your back. Coin back, your OKB uh -huh. back. So, because a lot of persons want to take advantage of that, they are buying the coin, and the more they buy the coin, the more the price uh, actually increases. So whenever they do this taking like this, it has a way of influencing the price of, of, the, of the token. It always increases it. A few days ago, it was just 26%. And right now, because of the ongoing announcement that they will take this, it actually yes. increased up to, to that uh, 50. I, I, that I, was, I, was, I was in this webinar when you talked about that particular coin. And I was like, ah, how is it going to translate into it? But now my eyes wowed it when I saw it really. I'm actually, I'm actually what. So now, if uh, sorry, sorry, I'm taking another time. If one yeah. now, like my dollar, my naira, I have my naira value, and I'm being limited to a hundred dollar per month with my card. How now can I translate my naira to that OKB account now? How can I get more of it? Sorry, can you take that again? Okay, now this is it. I can only use my card to buy a hundred dollar per month. You understand? Which mean we translate to like maybe 95, 98 USDT for me to change it to the OKB coins. If, as in, is there any way you guys 
try to assist in trying to get more of uh, USDT, as in maybe 2P, to p at a lower price. That's just it. Yes, uh, at a lower price, you can... Are you still seeing my screen? Yes, I can. I'm seeing your screen. You are seeing my screen? Yes, I'm seeing your screen. Okay. Only that is just, I'm not seeing, you're not sharing anything. It's just showing your picture. Okay, let me share my screen. Let me share now. And show you the current price of um, the P2P. Now with P2P, you can buy, you can buy up to 20 million Naira. I, I think the highest I've seen is, was it 40 million? No, I think 20, I'm certain of 20. You can buy up to 20 million naira worth of USDT at a go using P2P. Using P2P. And why I'm doing this, I want to show you what it will cost you to buy. Because that is the only way you can buy a lot of funds. You don't use this $100 limit of a thing on the card. You can't use that. So if I go ahead and click on buy crypto on the OKS and I click on P2P, um, this is USDT. You see that this person, in most cases, when I want to buy, this is what I look for. Anybody that has a badge on the OKS platform, this person has a badge. That means this person is a verified merchant with the OKS. This person okay. has a badge. This person is a yeah. verified merchant with OKS. So all of these persons that have badges or this check mark here, it means that they're verified um, um, merchant with this platform. So I'll go ahead and another thing you want to be looking at is the limit that person is ready to sell. Okay. The limit that person is ready to sell, which is, for instance, this person is ready to sell from, this person is ready to sell from 500K up to 1.6 million naira. Okay. That is the limit that which that person is ready to sell. So depending on what you want to buy, if you want to buy, let's say from a verified person, this person is selling from 400K, up to uh, 448 and all of these are based on the amount of funds that this person has in his or her account meaning that if you yeah. buy from anybody that is selling a higher price so if i scroll down and keep searching i'll just search for let's say i want to buy what a million naira or 500k i just buy from those who can sell and do it directly to bank through bank transfer so doing okay. it through bank transfer it means that if you are buying from this person um this person is just selling a little amount let's say i look for somebody who's ready okay this person is ready to sell up to 20 million this look at this this person is ready to sell up to okay it's 2.2 .2 million sorry not 20 million 2.2 .2 million yeah. yes. now if i want to buy from this person it means that i am going to buy this at seven five hundred and seventy four dollars yeah. per usdt so all you just need to do is to come in here if i click on buy Click on buy to buy from this person. It gives me this option. So I'll go ahead and put in the amount I want to buy. Let's say I want to buy um, for 2 million. I'll go ahead and put in that amount of money. And when I put in that amount of money, it tells you how much you are going to get in USDT, the equivalent to USDT. You go ahead and buy. When I click on buy, you'll be led to a page where this person's account number is generated for you. Okay. Uh -huh. So you just do the transfer to the person's account. And then once you do the transfer, let me just go ahead and I'll cancel the trade. Sorry, is it 2 million or 2 million or whatever? Yeah. So when I go ahead and click on buy, you see that order has been generated. I get a notification via SMS um, that order has been generated. This is the order number. This is it. All I just need to do is I'm going to do this via bank payment. Okay. This is it. I'm going to do bank transfer. So when I click on continue, let me just continue and cancel this. When I click on continue here, it continues to the page. And this is the person's account details. This is his full name. This is the account number. And then they are using CUDA Bank. So okay. what I've noticed is that majority, I don't know the privileges CUDA Bank gives to them, but it's like CUDA Bank hides a lot of things from, from, from the government also. So that's why a lot of these persons you see on crypto use it, they use this microfinance bank called Kuda yeah. Bank. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to transfer that. When I finish transferring, all I just need to do is to come in here to where it says, let me hide this. Below, below this thing, you see that, uh, okay, transfer completed. Once I click on transfer completed, 
this person will be alerted. But normally what I do to avoid delay, you will see here, there is a phone number here, now that this has been generated, there's an option yeah. to chat of this person here. Okay. And there is a chat here, there's a, a phone number icon here, and then there's a chat icon here. You understand? So to avoid yes. delay, all I need to do is, I will first come in here and click on the chat. I will ask the person if he or she is online, I'll go ahead and say, are you available or something for this transaction? If I get a reply, I'll go ahead and make the transfer, meaning that the person is online, so my transfer will not be delayed. Or okay. I can go ahead and actually call the person by just clicking on the phone icon here. Okay. When I click on the phone icon, I can call the person. But in most cases, this phone number don't go through. So if yes. I get a response on this chat any moment from now, I'll go ahead and make the transfer. Remember, there's a time limit here. If this time yeah. counts that automatically the trade will cancel. So if yes. I get a response, let's say in five minutes from this person, I'll go ahead and make the transfer. If not, I'll look for another seller and buy from that person. So basically that is what I do. If I call the phone number and the person say, go ahead, I'll go ahead and do the transfer. And you just wait, once you do the transfer, the person can send it from his or her end and you get the funds immediately credited to your account. So this is a way of buying coins without using your cap limit and the rest is you using P2P is the easiest way to buy crypto in this area. For those of us who are in Nigeria here. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, thank, thank you. I I I know I have at least I've learned something more on, on it. So I know this process, but at least I've learned something new on it again. So please, I don't know, please can you just go through how I can add up a uh, fund to that 12 fee on the on the prime board. All right, to add up funds to that, all you need is when you go to your prime board account, when you go to your prime board account, you want to come in here to where it says um, down here, somewhere here to your profile. Yes. Mm -hmm. You click on profile. When you click on profile, you go ahead and click on my assets. Once you click on my asset down here at the down left hand side, you see where it says recharge. So you go ahead and click on recharge. When you click on recharge, you see the USDT address. So this is the USDT address you are going to copy. All you okay. just need to do is click on this icon to copy. Then you go to your exchange and fund it. It is always TRC20 address. Okay. So when you are using um, your exchange, don't go and use TRC. It is TRC20 address. So you go ahead and fund this account, and that automatically will fund it for you. So that is right.